And there's a spot here that I'm pretty torn on um, in Coors Field, where I think Herman Marquez might actually contend for the most popular pitcher on the slate, maybe next to Corbin Burns. We actually saw John Gray in a similar matchup a couple of days ago, pick up 25% ownership in tournaments. And he had pretty good results, I think around 15 fantasy points. But it doesn't seem like the field is shying away from playing pitchers at cores. So this could be a situation where Marquez is pretty popular and maybe the Marlins come in a bit lower owned than you would expect from a team that's at Coors Field with prices this low, like Jesus Aguilar, 3,700, Jazz Chisholm is 4K. Um, and then there's some other hitters in the 2000s that aren't as good. But this spot just might not be that interesting to a lot of people because I think Marquez, like that side of the game will just be more appealing. And you need some savings because this isn't, a slate with a standout cheap pitcher option. There are some guys to pay up for. Even Wainwright, who is cheaper than Burns and Bassett, is still ninety five hundred. Um, so if you're paying if you're if you're paying up for an expensive stack, you need a couple of hitters that are cheaper. And I think the Marlins are the spots maybe play two or three hitters against Marquez and get some leverage there against someone who I think will be a surprisingly popular pitcher for this slate. Paul, where are you looking for va- a value bat for the slate? I- I'm going to give you three guys who are priced in the lower range here that you've identified and try to make good reasons for all of them. The Red Sox visit the Jays tonight in a critical three-game set, and I see Kike Hernandez coming to town on a 12 for 37 tear. He and his mates are here for that important trio of games. I wonder if the moment's going to get too big for tonight's young starter, Alex Manoa of the Jays, and I think that's one of the big reasons I'll go with Hernandez in this spot for 4,600 bucks. I also like Colton Wong for 4,400 bucks. He's been a model of consistency all year long, batting around 300 all the way and including the last 10 games, as well as uh, fitch, facing uh, starting pitcher Logan Webb, uh, a platoon advantage goes his way tonight too. And then finally, I like the uh, a guy who ca- I call a professional hitter, Michael Brantley, priced at only three thousand bucks, the lowest of my preferred batters. He makes the grade because of his twelve for thirty five streak ahead of a matchup against Bailey Ober of the Twins, who served up nine homers and pitched to a very ordinary four fifty seven ERA in his last ten starts. 